Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'll take you through how I export my images for social media, maintaining the sharpness, the quality. Now, as you're aware, if you're posting your images to social media, like Facebook or Instagram, they try downsizing the image so as to keep the file size smaller. Now, while they do that, they distort the quality. So you realize, you as you export your image it looks sharp and all that but then once you post on social media it loses the quality now we are trying to avoid that by giving it our own dimension something uh, according to the size of um, wherever you're posting it so that the quality remains the same now if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet kindly do so and hit the bell button so that you don't get to miss any of my tutorials Welcome back guys. So today this is the image we are working with. She's a female photographer and a good friend of a friend of mine. <laughs> Let's keep it like that. Now this picture has been worked on in uh, Photoshop. So this is the image we want to export for social media. Now I already have a tutorial on how to create recipes in Capture One. I'll include the link in the description so you can get to watch that. But then, in the meantime, we are going to create a new recipe, but I won't go much into details. So if you look on the left-hand side here, there's a plus sign. Let's just click on it. Now, you see Untitled Recipe. So we are going to give it a name. Let's say um, Ivy. Enter. So if we look here under Basic, we have different uh, things down here. Now, under Formats, we want it to be JPEG. And the quality we want since it's going to be for social media we want to keep it at 90 under icc profile social media so we want it to be srgb under resolution this is where most of the work take. now if you're printing then 300 pixels per inch is good but if you're posting on social media then i don't see why we should maintain all that resolution so we we'll keep it at 72 pixels per inch then the scale now what do we want to restrict the other aspect automatically so if we constrain here it will affect the height automatically so that if we have a portrait it will be the same size if we have a landscape picture it will be the same thing so in this case we want to constrain the short edge so here we have the short edge which is this place we want to keep it at 1080 pixels yeah for the short edge so what we have now it has changed so let's take it back to 1080 pixels what we are doing here is we are telling the system to change the uh, size the width of this picture to 1080 pixels so if it happens to be a portrait you will change the the width here to 1080 if it happens to be a landscape picture you will change the height to then it does the short edge now under destination we, we like to keep it at uh, desktop then subfolder we we'll keep it at the recipe name so with this picture selected and this recipe let's make sure other recipes are not selected now as i said i'll provide a link in the description for my other tutorial on how to create recipes in capture one so once this recipe is selected and the image is selected also we go to process so the export has been done so we move to our desktop and we should see a folder called ivy right here once we open it, we have this open. And voila, this is our image. It has been exported to Instagram's uh, dimension. So if you post this on Instagram, Instagram won't distort it. The same quality we see here is what will appear on Instagram. Guys, I hope this has been informative for you, and I would like to thank you for watching.